your you know rookie quarterback dropping back and, and letting one go? Uh, there really wasn't there really wasn't much uh, uh, much discussion. Um, you know we we got in we we max protected. You know so I think we felt confident there and you know again it was one of those plays where we feel like. Uh, you know, we're backed up. We got to take care of the football. There's a there's a really good chance that they may put pressure on, or they may drop guys. And we just felt like it was a uh, it was a decision that it was either going to be you know down the field for for a chance or a completion, or it was going to be incomplete. And at least it was going to get out quick, being in the territory that we were in. So that was really the thought process. There was you know us or nobody, and play the next play. Seems like all this attention, everything Kyle's gotten hasn't really change his mindset they still seems like the football hungry OG Wiz type kid uh, I've known Kyle for <clears throat> boy since geez, 2011 or 12 um, and uh, he's pretty much the exact same every day uh, regardless of anything um, so I don't expect any different how does that see anything before didn't you know did you see anything before the game from him that kind of led you to believe, like, wow, he's not overwhelmed by this all? I just saw Kyle. I mean, in all, in all honesty, uh, you know, I, I asked him before the game, you ready to go? And he, damn it. And that's just kind of, I think that's, that's it's kind of how he is. You know, he's like that every day. And, you know, there's really, it's kind of kind of hard to, really can't make anything of it that's just him I mean that's just what he does and and that's who he is and and uh, he just he's gonna prepare really hard and he'll he'll play really hard and, and try his absolute best how does that steady demeanor benefit him on and off the field well I think if you look at, at Kyle he comes from a tremendous family um, his, his parents are unbelievable people he's got a couple brothers and they're all very successful and um, he comes, you know, he's a very good student. He does everything right in the classroom. He does everything right socially. And, um, you know, that's probably, there's no secret to why he's steady Eddie because that's just kind of who he is. I think that's his, you know, the way that he's been brought up. Um, and uh, that's just kind of the guy that he is. Coach Campbell said he's got a dry sense of humor, I think. Yeah, he does. I mean, he'll, he'll jab you every now and again that you don't really see coming, you know. But, uh, you know, he's, yeah, he's awesome guy. Back to that last throw. How... I mean, you draw it up, but you watch him execute that, which high degree of difficulty, I think, fair to say. What was going through your mind as it went through the air, knowing he could you know, take that chance and convert it? Uh, holy bad word, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Like, oh my gosh, what, you, you know, what yeah. did he just do? That's pretty awesome, you know. Um, you know, but 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 uh, we we felt like he was gonna th we felt like he was gonna throw that ball, you know, and uh, that's a ball he throws pretty good, and you know we kind of was like, did he catch it or didn't he catch it? And then once we realized that he caught it, you know, we were pretty fired up, and then automatically you go to you know what's the next part of the game? What's uh, what's the two minute situation look like? What does overtime look like? Yeah. So we probably enjoyed it for about five seconds, and then try trying to get our plane ready to go for whatever may come next. What's that you met?